So I recently picked up this uh, 2005 second gen Prius and I was told it needed batteries but I'm just going to go through a few few steps um, for you so you can, um, if your Prius is acting up, so you can double check to make sure yours has bad batteries and you're not just you know spending the $3,000 or whatever it is to uh, put a new battery pack in if you don't even need it. So my hybrid battery in my Prius is uh, you know pretty much 100% dead. Um, it won't kick on the ice, which is the internal combustion engine, and the battery sits at one purple bar, if not zero. Um, so a few steps to just diagnose it and make sure this is indeed your battery and not like you know anything other, anything else. Uh, these hybrids are pretty tricky. They're um, a lot of the electronics are integrated together, so if one fails or acts up, it kind of throws a wrench in the whole system. Uh, so first things first is check your 12 volt auxiliary battery. I've made a video on that, and if your auxiliary battery is low, I would suggest replacing it, clearing the codes, and seeing what happens. You know, you should probably replace it anyways if it's low, but uh, a low auxiliary 12 volt battery can act up and cause all sorts of odd check engine lights and symptoms. Once you've figured out that you have a good auxiliary 12 volt battery, either you tested it and it's good, or you replace it, uh, go ahead and run any check engine lights you have. Um, I've cleared all my codes, so there's nothing on here, and I can't get the can't get the car started to re, uh, replicate those codes. But I did have a check engine light, and I did have the big red triangle. You can kind of see the imprint of it right there. That big red triangle is for your battery, your hybrid battery. And uh, the code I got was P0A80, which is just um, the code for hybrid battery failure. Now, the battery, my hybrid battery is so low, it can't even kick on the gas engine, so I can't move this car around. Um, so when I try to start it, it just kind of flicks a relay or clicks a solenoid back there, but nothing happens. So I got my finger on the power button, foot on the brake pedal. I'm just going to hold it and see what happens. Typically, that should have a ready and a big zero on there, but uh, the ready just flashes and the zero never shows up. You can see it flashing, flashing. No zero, no ready, and I don't know if you could hear that, but in the back you could hear a clicking, which I believe is the 12 volt battery trying to click on the hybrid battery to take over the system. Because uh, once the hybrid battery activates the um, or is activated by the 12 volt battery, I believe the 12 volt battery is charged up to like 13.6 or 14 volts through the DC DC converter, um, from what I've been reading. And uh, what that is, is it takes the 200 some volts from the hybrid battery and it steps it back down to a usable 13 and a half to 14 volts to keep the auxiliary battery nice and topped off. So really all the auxiliary battery does is uh, saves a few features, it powers on the hybrid battery and uh, a few other odds and ends. But uh, once the hybrid battery's on, it kind of takes over. So that's why your hybrid, your auxiliary 12 volt battery doesn't need a lot of cranking amps because it's not actually cranking, it's just saving memory and turning on your hybrid battery. So this is the kind of the nail in the coffin. This is what tells me that my hybrid battery is bad. Uh, you can watch my other videos on how to use Torque Pro or Torque Lite. I'm using Torque Pro. I'm not sure if you can use this um, diagnostics tool in Torque Lite. I don't know if you can load custom PIDs or not, but um, I'm using Torque Pro and you can do that for sure. So you're going to need that that Bluetooth to OBD2 adapter. Get your your app and go to real time or you got to load load custom PIDs first and um, you can look you can look it up online what that is but uh, the custom PID is essentially these little lines of code or these little little features you can add that are vehicle specific. Um, these PIDs that I have added for the hybrid can measure the individual block voltage and um, you know you just got to load that basic as it is Torque Pro just has basic information like coolant temperature uh, coolant temperature sensor or coolant temperature um, throttle position intake air temp kind of that that sort of thing but if you want to get into more specific vehicles you got to load those custom PIDs and uh, I mean, you could use them from anything, which I use. I use it for the 6.0. You got to check your FICM, your FICM voltage. Make sure that's at a solid 47 to 48. <clears throat> but that's uh, that's off topic. Anyways, load your custom PIDs, 
And what I have are all these hybrid blocks loaded on here. And it shows the voltage of these blocks. Now the hybrid battery is um, made up of 28 little modules and each module is paired off into these blocks. The modules are at about 7.6 to 8 volts if they're healthy and as you can see when they're wired up in pairs or wired up in series the voltages should add up to like mid 15s to uh, um, mid 15s to 16s. Uh, my battery is pretty drained right now so you can see that they're a little low but you can see they're fairly consistent at about 15.1 to 15.4. Now the, the troublesome ones is are these ones, 13.9 um, volts, so that's a weak cell in, uh, in that pair, and then 8.8. .8. So anyways, use the app to figure out which one of your cells are the weak ones. Um, so I have that one and that one, so that's four modules total. <clears throat> so I went ahead and got four, and I'm going to try and replace those and... Hopefully, it'll fix it, but uh, from what I've been reading on Prius forums, there's this thing called power balancing, where you have to discharge or charge the new cells up to the average of the uh, the rest of the the cells in the, the battery pack. Uh, I don't know what happens if you don't. I don't know if it like doesn't work or if it prematurely kills the rest of the cells, but the ones I got are pretty close. They're like 7.8 volts a piece and that's kind of in the the range of these ones so anyways that's a few couple um, few things that you can look at on your Prius to just double check that it's a um, indeed a bad battery and not um, you know something a lot smaller or just a faulty 12 volt battery that's throwing some odd codes um, I have read of uh, someone who their uh, their ter um, I think they're called bus terminals but uh, they're they're the uh, the little copper bars that connect your batteries in series. I've read a case where someone's terminals were corroded and that was inhibiting the the flow and that was tripping the uh, the bad <clears throat> the bad Prius battery or the bad hybrid battery light and uh, the dealership wanted a lot of money and in the end it's just those bad terminals so you know do your research um, hopefully I helped you a little bit on figuring out what uh, the problem is with your Prius or you know maybe even a Camry hybrid or Lexus Toyota Hybrid. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching. Leave a comment um, for more suggestions. Give this video a like if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel. Share this to your friends. I'm going to go ahead and replace those uh, four battery modules and uh, hopefully it'll work.